right. Uh, welcome to Psychos and Sociopaths. Uh, today we're going to go off a little bit of deep end. We're going to go over uh, Woody Harrison's dad, Charles Harrison. Uh, and uh, a lot of people don't know this. is His dad was a hitman. Now, a lot of this stuff, you can't go in and say... Uh, he killed this many people, he did this, because, one, he was a liar, a con man, and a, uh, he was a, uh, a gambler. Mm-hmm. Uh, and real quick, I, I'm not apologizing for stuffing in my face. Um, go to, uh, at Daddy Bob's one on Twitter, uh, Daddy Bob's Barbecue. Oh, God, dude. Facebook, Twitter. Facebook, we, Twitter. we post all this stuff last time. But, but yeah. Uh, we picked up a rack of ribs from him today. We got some of the jalapeno poppers on the side. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, so uh, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at eleven uh, a.m. is where they're at. Yeah, they set up at eleven. They were a little bit late, but you know, running a little bit behind today. Maybe at fifteen twenty minutes, not too bad. Yeah, right in from the uh, Eskimo Hut in Wichita Falls. Yeah. Now, uh, the thing about him, uh, Charles Charles Void Harrison, was born July twenty third, nineteen thirty eight. Uh, he was an American hitman, what would you already described, and he was basically into organized crime. Uh, his main conviction was the assassinating of uh, federal judge John H. Wood Jr., uh, who was actually called the uh, Maximized John because he, any time he wanted to do a uh, sentencing, he maximized the sentence. Uh, personal life. Uh, he was born in, uh, Love Lady, Texas, to Alma Lee and, uh, Boyd Harrison. Uh, he was married to Nancy Hillman Harrison. Eventually he divorced, uh, and he, his, uh, sons, uh, Woody, uh, Woodrow Trace Harrison, that's his actual full name. Uh, and we all know him. He became a television star, actor, uh, also known as Woody Harrison. Uh, according to Woody, uh, the son, Woody Harrison, uh, <clears throat> his his father would disappear a lot of times. Through uh, one, he was a uh, in, uh, encyclopedia salesman, mm-hmm. but he was a, a petrol gambler, so he was always out trying to make a couple of uh, bucks. Yeah, perpetual gamblers. Yeah. yeah. Habitual gamblers. Habitual. Big word. We used $5 on this one. That's it. We have no production. Uh, Damn, I wanted that special effects explosion at the end. I could probably do it, but it'd be... <laughs> it would be a... A little clip art of a mushroom cloud right there in front of the ribs. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if I can do that. I have, to, I have to pull out some stuff and everything like that. Uh, it's just something that gives me a little bit of uh, uh, extra editing stuff. But there's a list of only like three people that he've act, he's actually murdered. And he's been in and out of jail since... Uh, like he was 20, mm-hmm. right after he got out of the Navy. And not to say all, all military people are put on higher standards or anything. There's some douchebags, but he was uh, ex-Navy. Uh, what it ended up happening is he murdered Alan Henry Berg. Uh, that one... Let me see here, make sure my notes, this is the same uh, guy. Uh, Basically, he murdered this guy. He was a carpet salesman, and he owed the mob, or the Texas mob, the Dixie, Dixie Mafia? That's what it, uh, yeah. Yeah, You know, at the risk risk of, of being targeted ourselves, or myself, really, the Dixie Mafia. Let's just break that name down for a second. We're like, okay, what what kind of visuals does that lend? Well, you're going to get me, I'm thinking, an overweight godfather, coveralls, shit on his boots, sitting in the back of a 
Oh, you went redneck with that. I was actually truck limousine. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. You've already come this far. He's got the Confederate flag flying <laughs> off the back bumper. Windows are tinted out. But the rest of the truck is like banged up all the hell. His sister's sitting in the back seat with him. She's got no teeth because she's got a meth addiction. And he refuses to let her talk because she constantly has her mouth full. <laughs> but yet he's giving you offers that you can't refuse. <laughs> I was I was going with uh, <laughs> actual Dixie women and everything like that. But yeah, that's even better. That's, that's, and when his driver yeah, honks the horn at somebody, it doesn't 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 play the the the, the rebel yell. It doesn't it doesn't do like the General Lee. <laughs> His, his, like the, his like, horn sounds like the dueling banjos. You know, he hits that horn. It, ding, 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 <laughs> ding. Oh, I'm not sorry. I, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's get back uh, on track But here. he was a carpet salesman, and he owed the mafia two. Well, it's saying oh, 2000. God, I got oh. one from uh, that said from, uh, it was uh, 15, uh, 1500. But... Uh, Basically, he just murky murked this guy, uh, and he was sent. Uh, he was sent up for like fifteen years in prison, but he got that knocked down to at least five years because of good behavior. Uh, but his main one was the murder of Judge John H. Wood Jr. Uh, basically, a drug dealer paid a. Uh, Charles Harrison, uh, $250,000 to kill the, uh, judge, uh, and that drug dealer was Jamal Ch Changara, C-H-A-G-R-A, -A. yeah, I'm dyslexic and I can't read most of the time. Okay, um, Sam, you talking about the, the second guy? Uh, J Jamil, uh, Chigara, I think that's how it's pronounced. It's not giving me a pronunciation or anything like that. Ah, uh, you horrible people. But anyways, what's funny about that is even though Charles Harris killed the judge. Mm. Oh, we're talking about judge, okay. Uh, so I got lost in the land of ribs here. That happened. Um. <laughs> I told you it was a good idea. Um. Yeah, okay, so Jamil. But he was, he was Jamil, actually acquitted. Of all Charga. times. Jamil. Jamil. Jamil Yarga. Or Charga. Yeah, Jamil. Because in Spanish, the J is pronounced like, pronounced like an H. And if I'm getting that wrong, at me in the comments. At this point, I'm just doing it for clout, so whatever. Be brutal. But anyways. Finish me. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> being a habitual liar that he was, uh, Charles Harrelson, he even, uh, he even said that he... Uh, he killed JFK. We don't have to worry about that or anything like that anymore, right? He uh, he off JFK. We know who the gunman was and everything like that. No, and was he the one in the? I can the literally hear that or, or uh, no, he was in the lawn. He was the. Uh, he was on uh, the grassy knoll. Gr grassy knoll, yeah. Okay. So. So, he was uh. What was the character from the Umbrella uh, Academy? Uh, the time traveler? Yeah, number seven or something like that. Five? Five, five. five yeah. yeah, yeah. so he was five. Okay, yeah. Wow. Way to go. Look at that. But he also copped up. They couldn't actually believe all the stuff that he did mm -hmm. because of... He, he technically killed 50 people. He said he killed 50 people, but he copped for, like, a lot of murders and everything, so it was hard to believe him. And uh, what was another thing on here was his, his escape attempt. That was actually pretty uh, invented. They used uh, uh, towels and everything. He got with a couple of bank robbers to try to uh, get out of jail. And they ended up moving him to what is considered the uh, Supermax prison in uh, Marlin, Illinois, Illinois, yeah, Illinois, which is Illinois, yeah. supposed to be the most secure prison ever. So, they have that, I guess. 
Uh, Harrison, uh, Woody Harrison, actually tried to get his dad acquitted of the crimes, but they couldn't uh, get it through when he died in 2007 of a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. uh... And he was basically doing it only because, you know, it's my dad, I want to see him out of prison and everything like that. Yeah. That's what ended up happening and the reason why he did that. You know, thinking about Woody Harrelson as, as an actor and as an individual, you know, it's like you, you look at it and now, now that, you know, we bring his dad to kind of into the spotlight a little bit, you really kind of, I mean, you remember that role that he did for Oliver Stone back in the day, natural born killers. Yeah. <clears throat> you you got to wonder how much of that he actually drew from the stories that his dad has told. Well, that and the actual fact of he actually portrayed his own father in a uh, document, the documentary movie. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, we'll have to look that up. Yeah, but it it just goes to show this is this is one one thing about this that I really love about it, and it's showing how a piece of shit a person can be and how the son ends up being a hundred times better than the father. Yeah, you know, I mean, so, you know, we hear a lot about, you know, the son is responsible for the sins of the father. And to me, I'm calling bullshit on it because it's like, you know, it, it as an individual, we need to be held accountable for our actions. Now, if we're going to be held accountable for those actions, first and foremost, you need irrefutable, undeniable proof. You don't need this good old boy, good old girl system, you know, loopholing people, you know, playing small town politics, you know, lawyers scratching prosecutors' backs, things of that nature. All that aside, if the person is actually undeniably guilty of the things that they're being accused of, yes, absolutely hold them to an account. But that's where it stops. The buck stops there. Pure, plain, and simple. Um, to say that we're going to hold the sons responsible for the actions of their fathers or the daughters, for the, you know, the offspring being held responsible for the actions or transgressions of of their parents, to me, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't buy into that. Because, you know, you like you said, Woody Harrelson, 100 times over, more productive, uh, a, a overall better human being than, than the father. And until this got brought to, to light, you know, not a lot of people would have known that Woody Harrelson or Woodrow Tracy Harrelson had a dad who died in prison, who was tried and convicted for three separate murders, who had stories that implicated him in, in several other murders, including the assassination of a, of a president. Um, Basically, a lot of people want to uh, take the fact of something to the point of, like, like if you go into the comic books, like a person like Bane. Yeah. Because they actually did do that in a couple of uh, countries. I want to say Russia. I think Russia, but they ended up uh, making the sentence uh, a commutative to even the family members because the crime was so horrendous. <clears throat> With as flawed as our legal system is, we've got that going for us at least, where we don't look at it that way. The crime being so egregious, okay. You can't lock somebody away for, I mean, if we're, if we're talking about like mass murder, you can't sit there. I mean, I understand the Russians. They're the, the, I mean, you know, in mother Russia, they better scratch you, you know, that kind of thing. I get it. Yeah. But to, to, to say that, Hey, we're going to transfer shit that your dad or your mom did. And we're going to put you in prison for it because somebody needs to serve out this debt. When if the person dies, let it go. Justice has been done. Yeah, you know, and we're not to say who's going where, heaven or hell. We can only speculate, but the debt to society has been paid because that person is no longer on the tax roll. Yeah, at all. Period. 
They're, they're not being held responsible. Or you're, we're not being held responsible as a society to front the bill for their health care, for their, for their clothing, for their shelter, uh, for their food. It, we're, not, we're not responsible for their welfare anymore. They are dead. The debt that they owed society, as far as I'm concerned, has been paid in full. And that's where it needs to stop, you know. And, and, and to, to an, uh, an, an extent, you know, we see, you know, even, even with the, the sort of quote-unquote court of public opinion, uh, you know, we get, we get people who look at what, uh, oh, yes, that's much more, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, mood lighting. Anyway, um, mm-hmm. you know, the, the it is just totally threw my thought process off. Um, but okay, so the court of public opinion, we we get all these people that 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 do these horrendous things. Um, the, you know, the family of somebody who commits a mass shooting or something like that. Ninety nine point nine 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 repeating percent of the time. The families have had either no knowledge of or they had nothing to do with the planning or the execution of said crime. Yeah. But yet the public of court opinion rakes these people over the coals. It's like, oh, well, he came from your loins. You must be the exact same way. You know, or they just completely trash the family. When to the a, point a lot where of they're getting like uh, death threats and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, we had, a, we had a murder here in town. You remember the, uh, the, 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 the two girls from McNeil that were shot on their way home after school? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, and, and, and the, and the guy, one girl died. Yeah. Well, that Cody Lott guy, I think it was his name, Cody Lott. Anyways. Um, I'll look it up. Yeah, I'll look it up real quick. But guy's certifiably crazy. Overly infatuated with a 14-year-old girl. Tracks her down after school from his truck and shoots her and her friend repeatedly with a twenty two rifle. Girl dies on the scene. Uh, the other girl, she, uh, you know, she she survives and everything like that. But his family, not all that well put together. Okay, his his parents, you know, at first everybody was like, you know, we need, you know, don't no hold the parents responsible. But then they started at, you know, like, oh well, my son didn't do this, blah blah blah. I mean, there was a lot of things that came out, and and it, it just kind of damn. What. After, damn it, after eight, God. Okay, <laughs> Is it the, I got uh, it. Modern technology kicking your ass? No, it's not that. It's all the uh, pop-ups, because it's off of Time Record News. Mm. But after 18 min- uh, minutes of deliberation, they find them guilty in life imprisonment. Yeah. 18 minutes. Mm-hmm. Usually they take like a week. Or even even the uh, uh, George Floyd murder case, they took like ten hours, and that's wow. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that that was tried under the previous district attorney here in town, Rob Marine Shelton, I think it was. Um, I believe. Because that had been under a, uh, under our current. Prosecutor. Yeah, Marine Shelton. Yeah, because under our current prosecutor, or our current district attorney, he'd still be sitting in the annex, you know, just waiting, and then and it would just kind of drag it out. Yeah. You know, because he, he's all about the car, you know, he's being hard on crime. But he takes his But he time drags on. his feet on everything, and on a lot of times, at the risk of, of being disparaging on on. on, on on, on a public venue, but I, I think a lot of it is because there's there's too much small town politics going on. But like with him, the previous district attorney, she she was like, "Yeah, this dude did it. Everybody knew he did it. He, there was witnesses to it. We've got the forensic uh, evidence from the weapon. I mean, in in in, in a town of 105,000 people, which is what we are, that was high profile, man. Yeah, it really was." Um, very, very, very high profile. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that it, that it resulted in the loss of life of, 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 of a very promising and, and from all accounts, effervescent source of life. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so it, it, 
to, to bring that back around to Woody Harrelson and his dad, you know, it's like, we don't hold him responsible for it, but yet then when we find out about it, you're going to, you're still going to find those people that are going to be like, well, I don't know if he's marketable now, you know, if he's, if he's, you know, good for Hollywood. Or, well, he's open about it. Yeah, he is. He's open about it. And that, and I think that that was to his credit too, because most families of, of, of criminal, of, of murderers, especially uh, rapists, murderers, things like that, they, they become very closed off because they don't want that, that, uh, that, that attention. They, they don't want that association. And, uh, I think the fact that he was very open about it, and he's for for the most part, to my knowledge, Woody Harrelson's been very, very transparent about his public and private life. Yeah, which I guess we can close it up on that one. Uh, also, on another note, uh, uh, Katie Ansel. Uh, give us a message on our. I'll, I'll message you on your Facebook page. But give us a, a message, and we got a T-shirt going for you. Uh, she did a comment, uh, and this is going back to the very first. Hand me that other Red Bull. You haven't even opened it yet. Give us yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm still yeah, favoring this. Whatever. <laughs> Paging Nurse David. But it goes back to our first episode of Psychos and uh, Sociopaths of... Uh, uh, Vicky Don John, uh, Jackson uh, and uh, Katie Ansel said this y'all y'all have no idea that fucking town is not nice at all it's the worst place it has nothing to do with their therefore breeding drug abuse and it's cursed took much weird shit happening there uh, yes Vicky Jackson's also Henry Lee Lucas well, if we're going to do Henry Lee New, uh, Lucas next week uh, was caught there. He was. Uh, he killed a woman up at the road. From there, they. Uh, that's uh, weird. Right now, there's a seven-year-old mystery. A 17-year-old boy uh, is missing and never found. And one of the most prominent men that lives there is responsible for it. But they haven't put charges yet because nobody. But nobody. But they know and. Everyone knows it's him. A I have a uh, I have a lot of true crazy shit that's happened that has went on in that town. I won't ever go back. Yeah. So you know, and you and I discussed this this morning. Um, I think what we really should try to do is maybe come off or come up with a uh, like a spinoff type series where we revisit <coughs> some of these cases. I think a bonus episode. Yeah, or a bonus episode, I, 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 yeah. I would like to do a bonus episode on a lot of stuff that actually uh, going on and everything. Yeah, that, it uh, keeps the workload gonna, easy or easy, easier to uh, manage Hopefully for us. we can get someone from uh, the detective pool from our town's uh, police department so we can get some uh, yeah. uh, input, uh, even if even though we are a small town and everything, but uh, see if we can get any input at how... That they would try, like the cases uh, with H.H. Uh, H. Holmes. Mm-hmm. Uh, how would they do that now compared to what they did back in the day? Because yeah. back in the day, they didn't have any. Uh, oh, that was the uh, with the with the murder house, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Murder castle. Yeah, murder castle. Yeah. In uh, Chicago. But, yeah, but uh, but yeah, but Katie, definitely, uh, you know, reach out to us, uh, direct message us through Facebook, uh, or we will we'll make the attempt to reach I'll, out I'll, to you. I'll, I'll message her. Um, I'm message her but yeah, definitely, we you know we'd like to. You know, at least get you the T-shirt and, you know, maybe ask you a couple of questions if you're willing. But, yeah, definitely. And, and see, this is why we preach uh, or we, we really kind of harp on why harping is wrong, the wrong word to use. This is why we really encourage the, uh, the uh, you know, for, for our you, our audience, to get involved with our comment section. Because we need feedback like this. Um, you know, because it, we, we're here, we're just talking about it from a very disassociated point of view and we only see like in, in cases of towns like Nakona we have 
you know, what we see. We, we pass through the Kona. We don't live there on a daily basis. We haven't spent any discernible time there. Yeah, it's only 30 minutes, and the only thing I know about it is the boot company. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, like, I know about the car car museum. I know that they've got a VFW post there, uh, which has got a pretty well-stocked bar. But, uh, you know, past that, not a whole lot of information about Nakona. Um, you know, it's just some place to kind of go and spend right there on, on the main drag and, you know, eat. And there's uh, also this weekend the, uh, what post is it? Oh, yeah, the uh, yeah our American Legion post. uh which I just got elected to the vice commander position for. Awesome. But, uh, uh, yeah, we're having a, a yard sale uh, this weekend. Uh, it's uh, garbage here. Hold on just a second. Let me look. Do, 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 do. Oh, bring the shirts up there and save themselves on. Mm, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let me see here. Mm-hmm. Hold, please. All right. So, yeah, we're at uh, 4605 Lakeshore Drive uh, here in Wichita Falls. And so, with the, uh, I'm trying to think if I can find the, let's see here, events page. Uh, yeah, so it's going to start at 7 in the morning is what it's, uh, according to our webpage, or our Facebook page. But uh, definitely, you know, give us a, you know, come out and take a look at it. Uh, I mean, we're not charging price for admission. Um, you know, just kind of come out. All of the proceeds from the yard sale are going to go back to the post. Why are you laughing? Okay. For 30 years, this guy... It just, you say no admission or anything like that, but for 30 years, this guy up at a, a London uh, uh, zoo mm-hmm. uh, charged admission to get into the, uh, to, for the parking. I remember hearing about that. That's, that's yeah. the reason why I laughed. It was just something that just. And he didn't even head. work for the zoo. No, he just posted it up. He always showed up and everything and every. Everybody is like uh, somebody. He just he he stopped coming one I day, think, and everybody's and people were like, "Well, where where's Chuck?" And where I'm just yeah. throwing a name out there. We're like, who's that? We're like, oh, your parking attendant. He would he would charge for parking. It was like our parking's always been free. Yeah. And then they were like, "Oh, wait a minute. He's been doing this for like 20, 30 years." Yeah. What the hell? And they calculated up. I think he made like probably about uh, three to five million dollars. <sighs> Hey, good on him, man. I mean, hey, you just hey. pulled the con for 30 years. That was a long con. I mean, that's a long con of long cons. I mean, the dude just sat there, and they didn't do anything about it. They could see him physically. I mean, obviously, they knew he was out there. People were just like, oh, okay, not a problem. Sure. And he, I guess he apparently became such a fixture there. You know, I guess maybe the uh, the, the management staff for the zoo was just kind of, oh, he's harmless. They didn't, they didn't even think to go out there and check on him. Like, what are you doing out here, bro? This is the, this is the first thing I would do. I'm like, God. hey, who's that? Yeah, I'm the type of person that's just like, hey, who's that? What's he doing? He's just standing out there. <laughs> I'm holding my happy ass across the parking lot. But like, yeah. hey, bro, I got to get you some water. Oh, what are you doing here? Yeah. You know, I'll tell you what. I'm going to let you keep doing it, but you're going to cut me in for like 30%. You know? I mean, still, 30% over two, $3 million, you know, we'll get, yeah, that's yeah. still a pretty good sizable chunk of change. But anyway, so. But anyways, thank you for watching uh, Psychos and uh, Sociopaths. Don't forget to give our subscribe button a smash. Hit the bell for the notifications, all of the notifications for your comments, uh, interaction with your comments. When we post new videos, um, give us likes, give us shares on our Facebook page. Check us out on Spotify. Uh, you really need to give me the password stuff for the admin stuff for the Twitter account. So I can get that up and going again, and um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll post links and everything like that. I'll, I'll I'll give it to you right now. Well, you can do it out off camera, yeah. obviously. But all right, so but yeah, I'm Johnny Skelton. I'm David Dickman. You guys have a good week. Yep. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.